Welcome, in front of me is a Nokia 7 and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So as you can see, the Nokia in front of me is actually locked and without the correct uh, Google account, I, I cannot progress further with the setup. And I can even try to tap on next. I need to always fill it up. So to bypass it, we're gonna need a SIM card, like this one, and it needs to have a pin. So if you have a SIM card laying around and doesn't have a pin, just put it in a different, let's say, device and uh, go into the settings and add a pin to it. And then you can progress with this. So once you have that ready, all you need to do is just put it into the device. So I'm gonna put it in the tray. Give it a moment and then you will have to put in the pin. So put in the pin that you have set and it will take us to the lock screen. So right here, you don't wanna unlock the device, you just wanna hold this. And from here, tap on the information icon right here, and it will take us to this page. Stop on advanced, then go into browser app, then open links or opening links, and scroll down till you find YouTube, which is at the bottom. Tap on YouTube, then tap on the icon itself. So YouTube icon right here. And then once more, Tap on notifications, advanced, additional settings and up. Then go into the about and Google privacy policy right here. And it will take us to the browser, which is where we want to be. So here just tap on accept. And we don't want to sign in. So now in the search field, we're gonna go into the hard reset website. So type in hard reset.info. And from here, tap on the three bars up here. And you'll gain access to the menu. So select download. And in the search field for the download, type in Android 8. Let me just close this, as you can see. So type in Android 8. As you can see, and search for it. And you will see this, the FRP bypass, Android 8. Tap on download up here. And scroll down a little lower and you'll find another download. So just click on it. It will now start to download. So actually we need to enable it first. So allow for us to download and then tap on okay. And now that it has download, click on open. And before we can install, we need to uh, enable unknown sources. So tap on settings once it pops out and just flip the switch right here, allow from this source and then go back once. And now, as you can see, we can tap on install. So tap on it, wait for it to install, and then open it. And from here, we're now in the app that we've just downloaded. So tap on Google Account Management APK install, and then select for version 6.0. And once more, we need to enable it. So tap on settings, and then allow from the source, and then go back and install. This time, instead of opening, which is not even possible, you just want to tap on done and then go to the other tab, which is bypass FRP and then select browser sign in. And here, instead of writing it right here, we're going to tap on the three dots up here and then click on again, browser sign in, confirm it by tapping on OK. And then we're going to put in our email right on this page. So. Put in the desired email that you want to use. I'm gonna put in mine. Just 
so, tap on next, and then put in your password. So I'm gonna do that too on the screen. And then tap on sign in. So we'll see this. And we're back to the FRP bypass app. So now basically it's finished. So all we need to do is reboot the device. So hold the power key and select restart. And once it res um, restarts and we're back in the setup screen, uh, we're just gonna want to go to the setup fairly quickly because we're gonna perform another hard reset of the device to remove any kind of leftovers from the previous account. So let's wait for the phone to boot back up. As you can see, we're back in the setup screen. Okay, let's continue, don't copy. Next, as you can see, that was the account that we have put in. Like I said, just skip through most of this. We still need to perform another hard reset of the device to finish the process. As you can see, we're now on a home screen. So what you want to do is go into the settings. So the best way is just to pull down the notification panel and you have this gear icon right here. So tap on it. And from settings, go all the way down into system. Then tap on advanced and select reset options and choose erase all data factory reset right here. And then reset phone and erase everything. And now let's wait for the device to actually perform the reset and uh, once it's finished, we're gonna go to the setup process one more time, uh, the final time this time. So I'll be back once it's finished. Okay, so let's go through the setup process once more. Now, right now, you can connect to network, you don't have to. I'm gonna choose to skip it, considering the fact that it, once I connect, it's gonna start looking for updates and stuff like that. And I want to shorten the video so it does, doesn't take so long. Now, if you would choose to connect to network, you would then also be able to log into the Google account with your own account. So you can set up basically the device as you like now, add security measures if you like, it doesn't really matter anymore. It's basically a fresh, a fresh phone, so set it up as you like. And as you can see, we're back in the home screen and I'm gonna go into the settings. And then if I go into the accounts, you will see that there is no account whatsoever added. And you can then add a new one unless you logged in previously to the 
if you're connected to the network and logged in, then you will see your account right here. But considering last account or any kind of other one, everything is clean and the device is fully unlocked now. So that is basically how to bypass the Google verification screen on the Nokia 7. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.